against brown belts, toe holds, submissions, overtime, crazy, just action-packed here in Burbank. It's going to be a good fight. Diego Oliveira versus Daniel Slather. Both gentlemen put on a great quarterfinal match and are facing off here. Neither, neither of them can pull guard in the first minute. If they do, they uh, give a penalty. Oh. We have a, an exchange of takedown attempts by both athletes. Head to head. Oh, oh. and he goes for the single leg off that is it off throw. Leg. Diego Oliveira just looks strong, completely strong and sound. What do you think? Yeah, he's he seems fine there. Super dense. Yeah, Daniel Daniel Slather a, a bit taller, lengthier in his in his stance. About seven seconds left. Who do you think is gonna pull? Uh, Diego. Diego. One minute in. Wow, one minute what in. What a guard pull by Diego Oliveira. Perfectly timed off that little shuck. Last match, Diego was really active in his guard, throwing triangles, using that lasso hook really well. Let's see how Daniel deals with it. You can tell Daniel's favoring that lasso. Or I'm trying to figure out how he's going to isolate that and remove it. Doing a great job of manipulating the lapel grip is Diego Oliveira. Purely for breaking the posture, but also setting up an omoplata, potentially, is Diego Oliveira. Oh. Still has that grip, though. It passes across. Daniel Slather of GF Team, you... You saw a very on the drag now. Autos, he's a GF team kind of. You saw a pass attempt there that was very oh, Autos-esque. Yes. Diego's up, gets two. Diego of Cis of Cicero Costa. Feeding that lapel. Last year from from Brazil. Last year, Mundial champion. Here today in Burbank, California, working for the pass after a two-point lead, with three minutes and thirty seconds left. Look at that shoulder pressure. And, and you see Daniel kind of adjust because it, it's good. He's got, that he's got that lapel on the far side, which is wincing down that pressure on the chin of Daniel Slather. What do, you, th what do you think, AJ? Do you think Diego tries to get that knee out for the slice, or do you think he... I think he's going to use his left leg as a wedge to pull out his, his, his right foot. He's going to scoot his... He's trying to get his arm underneath that... His hip underneath that arm. So he can use that wedge. Oh, there, there it is. It is. On and, the switch. and the pass is nearly there. Almost, almost. Keeping that pressure with the almost, shoulder and maintaining almost. the balance. He I gets see. it, Bear. There's a point. Three points awarded, and now he's going to find the back. Looking the seatbelt grip. Oh, on the back. It's on the back with the rear naked choke now. There's the rear naked choke in. He Tap. gets it. Tap. Submitting uh, his way to the finals is Diego Oliveira of Cicero Costa. Made it look easy, Bear. What a great showing. That's going to put him right to the finals for a chance to win. What, what, what's at stake here? $1,000. $1,000. That was a great, that was a great submission victory. It's a good fight. Diego just pushed the pace to the back. Next up, I think one of the better matchups that's going to happen. Yes, this should be a good fight as well. Mateus Luna of Checkmat taking on Julio Arantes from Qatar BJJ. Purple belt versus purple belt. And your winner by submission, Diego Oliveira. Diego will be advancing to the lightweight finals. Who do we got up next, AJ? 